Welcome everyone to the Cat's Meowth and a collection showcase of my Boundaries Cross set. So we are starting to get into some larger sets. This one still fits in the binder with both the regular and the reverse, but only barely. Uh, that vile plume up there. Um, oh no, that's not, I don't know what I was thinking. That's not the trainer lot vile plume. Um, it's a, like a weakness increase vile plume. Oh, I forgot there was a Charizard in this set. Everyone loves a Charizard, although honestly, I like the artwork on the Charmeleon better. Sorry, Charizard. And Blastoise. Um, the well, I don't, I don't know if it's the best I've ever done at a tournament. Um, I forget what I hit if it was top sixteen or whatever at a regional, but was with um, uh, one of them was with a Blastoise deck. Uh, Keldeo, uh, loved Russian to, you know, most of the time, um, be able to get your active out of a tough situation, of course, unless you had the ability blocked. But Blastoise is, uh, it was my first favorite Pokemon, and so if there's a playable Blastoise, I tend to gravitate towards playing with that versus something else. And here we go with the trainers and supporters, stadiums, and something new in this set, Ace Specs. So Ace Specs were kind of an interesting concept. You could only have one per deck. Um, honestly, all of these, I mean, a gold potion, I think, saw a little bit of play. Computer search was the big one that you wanted. You could only have one Ace Spec in your deck as well. So only one copy of the card, only one card, so you couldn't have computer search and gold potion. So it really made you th um, think about what you wanted to play. Most of the time, though, people decided to go with computer search. Um, and we'll see in a later set that there was another alternative that was used for a while. But most of the time, it was computer search. And here we have some lovely full arts. Um, Keldeo was the most playable. Landorus was pretty... Well, I don't know. Landorus was pretty playable, too. Um, but honestly, the Cresselia and the Celebi, I think, are prettier as far as artwork goes. And then look at this whole page of beauties. Um, we have full art trainers, especially that Skyla. Um, we've got Shinies, Terrakian, Altaria, and Golurk. And uh, it wasn't too playable, so uh, the gold Rocky helmet, I don't think, made too big of a difference to anyone. And now we'll flip through this reverse hollow set. Um, now the reverse Charizard looks pretty nice. There's something about adding a little extra hollow onto a Charizard card, even if it's not the, uh, the picture itself, that does make it look a little better. Oh, Dustnort. That was a pretty big card in, uh, in this era as far as TCG. Uh, Flygon saw a little bit of play as well. And you got to point out every Meowth. Uh, Ditto was useful. And we're finishing up with the trainers. So we'll flip back to the ultra rares to end this collection showcase video of Boundaries Crossed. I hope everyone has enjoyed and you'll stay tuned for more.